Well, here's my engine. It, it is the Hearth 3202 55 horsepower engine with uh, the gearbox on it. And uh, let me get around here and show you pictures of it. I finally got it out of the box. It's been sitting, sitting on my floor for quite a while using the box as a prop to set the airplane on. Uh, the two carburetors here. And here is a one of the wire harnesses coming out of it. I have to get into the manual and decide what's what. And here's another one over here for the ignition which comes pre-wired from the factory. I'll try to zoom in here. Ah, There we go. Now there's the one plug. And then in your kit from the factory here's the other half of that plug and the regulator which as you can see uh, is designed to fit in there comes with a bottle of Blue Max two cycle um, aviation oil and uh, I plan on buying a couple of gallons of that here's the vacuum fuel pump vacuum driven fuel pump here's your starter solenoid the muffler clamp I got the two air cleaners for the carburetors and then the various parts and pieces to the exhaust system and that all comes uh, with the engine from the distributor now this gets put in here and eventually when I get it lined up we'll have to have this seam welded up once I get everything in alignment and that's uh, that's the engine that's the one that's going on uh, Little Bird. Uh, factory specs claim that this engine will create 55 horsepower at 5,800 RPMs for five minutes and then goes down to around 51 or 52 horsepower indefinitely at 5,000 RPM and uh, pretty much stays right between uh, 45 and 50 rpm all the way or 45 and 50 horsepower all the way down to around uh, 4000 rpm and uh, the torque curve is pretty much flat all the way across the spectrum here's the starter electric starter this is the exhaust manifold coming out and the shroud over the engine and let's see I'll zoom in here don't know if the lighting is good, but here you can see each cylinder has been marked as number one, number two, number three, and number four spark plugs. And the fan on the end here, which pulls cool air in and blows it through the shroud here and then out past the cylinders. It's going to be interesting to figure out a uh, shroud system to capture some of that heat to pump it back down into the cockpit for wintertime flying. Here we have a warning tag. Probably a good idea. Uh, fill up oil before use or check oil level. And since I don't read German for those of you who do speak and read German, <laughs> there's the warning. So, then you attach your propeller right here. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's a really nice engine. Total weight about uh, 110 pounds. I was able to lift that out of the box by myself and put it on the table. It, it took some effort, but it's not that heavy. Eh, ready to get the engine mounted.